uh, Kyle Bright. Kyle doing all right today? Yeah, so far so good. good. Had some really nice performances, a couple not exactly what we were hoping for, but not a bad day. All right. How about yesterday? How'd, how'd it go? Yesterday was really good. We had uh, something like... 19 or 20 of our teams were in first place. Um, nobody lower than second that I'm aware of. I could be wrong, but I, that's what I seem to remember. We had a couple teams in a position to get that paid summit bid, which that's a big deal for us. We, when we have so many teams, we've got to pick up a few here and a few there and try to get them wherever we can. So uh, it was a really good Saturday. We're usually a little better on Sunday in general, so uh, it's a good start. So how's the Sunday going? Uh, pretty good. We had our senior two team that was we were hoping to be in a position to win one of those summit bids. They had a little mistake today, so that probably took them out of the running. But they were still able to win their division. Um, we slept. We swept level one, which was really good for us. All of our level teams won. We got grand champs for level one, um, and that's we like to start off the day on a, on the good foot. So that was a nice uh, way to get this competition won. We. We're not as strong in level two. We had a couple teams make make mistakes and uh, kind of get snuck up on. We had youth two and junior two that were both winning. Ended up losing really, really close wins today, which is tough. But born into our national season, it's sometimes good to learn that when you make the mistakes, you're not going to win. So hopefully they can uh, bounce back and, and learn from it and be better moving forward. It's, we watched your steel team perform last night. I mean, You're a crowd pleaser, huh? I mean... It's pretty amazing. I mean, what, what, uh, give us a little background on what it takes to, to, to get a team like that together. Well, you know, it's, it's really interesting because we haven't had a large co-ed in, in a few years. I think 2008 was the last time we had one. And we decided last year, you know, we've got a, a few boys. This is something we haven't really done, but we've got all these girls. So we just kind of put it out there on social media, Twitter, Facebook, you know, anywhere we could and told people we're going to have a co-ed team this year. And that's it. That's all the recruiting we did. And they just kind of came out of the woodwork. The girls brought the boys from their schools. The boys who, you know, some of them cheered at other places last year. We had a couple kids who are now freshmen in college that are going to Kennesaw State right down the road from us um, that are super senioring. And uh, it was really cool to see we didn't have but three boys last year, maybe four. And now this year we've got 20 showed up. And uh, it was really, really cool. To, it's awesome to be able to be in that division, which is a really popular division. It's a very competitive division. And, um, you know, we're, we're excited to have it. It's something we don't do all the time. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Coach, we appreciate your time. Yeah, Thanks. Thank you very much.